G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist coming to you today with my part two review of the Poseidon X Ambition drop bar slash adventure bike. If you're a regular to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel or gravelcyclist.com, you will already have seen my very detailed review where I cover the standard configuration of this bike. In part two, I have got the upgrade kit which is for through axle. So long story short, inside this rather nondescript looking cardboard box is a, another carbon fork and a set of dropouts for the rear end of the bike, which will enable me to run through axles front and rear and run some spankier wheels, which I will run tubeless, which in my opinion, the original variant, if you buy a completely stock from BesideAndBike.com, it's really screaming out, I think, for a tubeless upgrade. So without further ado, let's uh, get cracking and see what's inside the upgrade kit. And here is the uncut upgrade through axle fork. So starting at the top, you can see it's a tapered steerer tube. So inch and an eighth to inch and a half at the bottom. I'll need to cut this. I'll be utilizing a Park Tools cutting guide. If you choose to upgrade to this fork later on after purchase, I recommend you use the similar tool or consult your local bike shop. Alternatively, you can order this upgrade at the time of ordering the Poseidon X Ambition drop bar. As we move down the fork, you can see there's a fender mount right there, and the fork still retains its bottle cage mounts either side, so you get the versatility of the original fork. And the front brake cable runs through the left side of the fork and exits just above the front brake, which is flat mounted. And the part we're really interested in seeing, the through axle interface itself. And also on the bottom of the fork, fender mounts. Overall, a pretty nice fork. Here are the through axles. So the rear, 142 by 12 millimeter. And here is the front through axle, 12 by 100 millimeters. And the final piece of the puzzle, the two dropout pieces. This is the drive side, so this will bolt into the frame. And there's your derailleur hanger right there. And that is the non-drive side dropout. Welcome back, folks. Since the last scene, I've chopped the fork, but let's chuck all the bits onto the scale here. And we're looking at, well, 471.5 grams with the off-cut piece. So factor in about 475 for the uncut fork. Let's take away the piece I sliced off. 448 grams. Now all that remains to do, we need to take the crown race from the original fork that's still on the bike, remove it, and then slap it onto this fork. Here's the original fork, and here is the head tube of the Poseidon X Ambition. Out of the camera shot, I've loosened off the stem, and I'm gonna grab the bike by the head tube and pull upwards. There is the crown race, and with these tapered forks, these crown races can be a little bugger to remove. Now there is a specialized tool to remove crown races and most bike shops would have those in stock. They're not something every home mechanic is going to have. And You're going to be really embarrassed if I pull this crown race off and it's one of those split ones that don't require tools. Ha! I learned something new today. This crown race has a split ring so when I twist it around, you can see there, there's a split, which makes removal very easy without using any tools. So let's just wiggle it up to show you. Look at that, it's coming off. So it's very simple for me to just pull that crown race off and then swap to the other forks. So what's next? I need to remove this fork from the frame. I'll be utilizing a work stand for that. I'm not going to be showing this part of the procedure, but long story short, the fork's going to be pulled out, the brake caliper at the bottom will be removed, and the brake housing and the associated mechanical cable will be run through the port on the new fork and the brake installed, etc. And there we go, new fork installed. All that remains is to reinstall the brake caliper and install a front through axle type wheel. Next step in the process, remove the rear wheel and swap these dropouts so we can utilize a through axle rear wheel. And 
Next step, remove the rear derailleur. If you have a T-handle Allen key, it makes this job a little bit easier. Then we need to loosen off these two screws right here, which will release the drive side dropout. Let's not drop them on the floor. There we go, dropout removed. Let's now swap for the through axle variant. Here's a replacement, and it includes a couple of bolts. Nice, with thread locker ready to go, blue Loctite. Real simple, new dropout, slot straight into the appropriate place on the frame, and then use the supplied bolts, as I showed you a moment ago. So instead of loosening, we're gonna tighten down. They're very small bolts, don't wanna round them out. There you go, done. Now we need to substitute the dropout on this side right here. Chuck in your three mil Allen key, loosen them off and swap. Slap in the new dropout and tighten her down. No wakan faris. Hello again, trendsetters. It's wheel swap time. On the left, we have the stock wheel set provided with the Poseidon X Ambition drop bar. Remember, they have tubes or tubes if you prefer, and they are regular nine millimeter quick release. Also, I've taken the liberty of removing the cassette. On the other side, we have a very high zoot wheel set, an NVG23 wheel set. It's quite pricey. It is set up tubeless, there's no cassette, it has disc rotors mounted ready to go and if you'd like to see a review of this wheel set it is linked in the description below obviously you can slap whatever wheel set you want onto the poseidon x ambition but before i install those wheels on the right let's put both of these wheel sets onto the scale and see what sort of weight savings we're attaining onto the scale of the front wheel 1926 grams not light Stock rear wheel on the scale. You might not be able to see it in the camera shot, but it's coming in at 2,107 grams. So that makes for a total of 4,033 grams. So just over four kilograms, which is a lot of weight. Let's weigh the Envy wheels. Don't forget, this is tubeless, carbon fiber. Pretty tasty wheel, complete with rotor, 1,382 grams. Let's throw the front wheel directly on top. This should be out of balance, hopefully. All right, so the pair is coming in at 2,625 grams. Assuming you went with an expensive, crazy light wheel set such as this one, there are other options that aren't quite as light and a lot cheaper. That point aside, you have a saving of 1,411 grams, or 1 1.4 kilograms. Play the cassette, because I think there are some potential weight savings there if you're so inclined. Wow, that is the heaviest cassette I've ever seen, actually. 661 grams. So could choose a tighter ratio, or I'm sure there's some alternative lighter cassettes out there. Final part of the weighing puzzle, stock quick releases, 118 grams. Placement through axles, 120 grams. So the weight jumps a smidge, but the point is, if you happen to slap on a pair of even reasonably decent light through axle wheels, you're gonna save at least a kilogram of weight, or 2.2 pounds off this bike. So there you have it, trendsetters, my part two video of the Poseidon X Ambition drop bar gravel slash madness adventure bike. Priced at a very reasonable $8.99 or $7.99 US for the standard configuration if you got yourself 
a coupon code and that sort of good stuff over at PosidonBike.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for no bullshit gravel bike reviews such as this one, other product reviews, ride experience videos, and my favorites, General Madness. <laughs> all right, as all of it is released to the channel, I'll see you mm, in the next video.